Richard, are you looking for these? There are two types of people in the world. Those who are content to blend in, these people walk through life like beige socks, uninspired and bored. Then there are those who expect more. They're exciting. They have pizzazz. Eventually, the beige sock people get lost or devoured by the ones who stand out. Do you want to be devoured, Richard? No. What is that? It's the new Kia Optima. It's like the world's most exciting pair of socks, but it's a mid-size sedan. Please, try it on for size. Whoa. Whoa was right. Punch it, Richard. Come on, punch it. There is a revolution going. Excuse me? What do you mean? The future is staring back at us. Like a perfect picture on glass. And this future, it must be protected. <laughs> What's it got to do with me? Look. What is it? It will change everything. That's why they want to stop it. They will come after you without cease. Because the future belongs to us. LG OLED. Perfect picture on glass. Who are you? Oh, come now. I've already told you. The future is staring back at you. Ground floor, please. strike. Oh, my beer, lovely. Hello, I'm Helen Mirren, a notoriously frank and uncensored British lady. The collective we are dumbfounded that people still drive drunk. So I'll sum it up like this. If you drive drunk, you, simply put, are a short-sighted, utterly useless, oxygen-wasting human form of pollution, a Darwin Award-deserving, selfish coward. If your brain was donated to science, science would return it. So stop it. Now the chances are you're a fun, solid, respectable human being. Don't be a pillock. Your friends and family thank you. The friends and family of other drivers thank you. Your future self thanks you. This is supposed to be fun. Cheers. Nice and cold. Award-winning actor, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Every actor at some point considers selling out. No, I, I would never tarnish my name by uh, selling you something. Not at all. Really? No, I simply believe what a man does, what a man says, what a man says another man can do, says a lot about a man. Really. Now, if I were to tell you to go to TurboTax.com, it's because TurboTax Absolute Zero lets you file your taxes for free. So you're not selling TurboTax? It's free. There's nothing to sell, so I can't be a seller, can I? Come here, TurboTax.com. Hey, little girl. I have way more integrity than that, don't I? It's a good girl, TurboTax.com. Hey, okay, right there, ready. 
TJ, over here, little orange head, flavorful body. What the? What do you bought? I like your style. Who are? What are you? What is you? Yeah, you look like an unemployed Civil War general. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of work for Civil War generals right now. You look like you're about to get evicted from your parents' basement. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You look like you've recently been evicted from your parents' orange crate. You look like you're on a cleanse that doesn't work. Do you realize that your sunglasses move when you talk? It's kind of my thing. It's terrifying. You look like your pet turtle is the only one you can lean on for emotional support. Derek's a good listener. Was it difficult to give up your dream of becoming a punk rocker to manage an electronics store in San Diego? You look like you were raised in the wild, but your dad wolf worked a lot. Well, yeah, so you had to bring home that wolf bacon. Do you consider fresh squeezed orange juice murder? You look like a toddler who took a growth serum. And you're a citrus snowboard instructor? You look like an out-of-work magician. It's a hobby. I feel like you peaked in middle school. You're awfully sassy for someone without a torso. I think your superpower is breathing heavy. <laughs> That would be a pretty good superpower, actually. People would know you're there. Mm-hmm. Now, your mother was an orange. Was your father medical marijuana? You look like you broke your yoga mat. Do you even have eyes under there? Hey, I got a movie idea for you. Okay. This loser walks into a bar. Mm hmm Okay, it's called Right Now. <laughs> Touche. Or is it touch? Touch. My fellow Americans. Hey, guys, can you be quiet? Seth and Amy are talking about our country. They say we're a nation divided. They say we disagree. On everything. That's not true. We agree on a lot. Like Paul Rudd. Everybody loves Paul Rudd. <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna happen. You know what else everyone loves? Emojis. No, farmer. Raccoons. No, beer. Beer. Nothing brings America together like Bud Light. That's why we're forming the Bud Light Party. Just wait till you see our caucus. We got the biggest caucus in the country. But it's not like too big. Like. You can handle it. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today we celebrate our Independence Day. Are you just quoting Independence Day? Yeah, I'm really inspired right now. America has seen the light. And there's a butt in front of it. Warning? Sure. Warning. Here comes your ticket. Car that doesn't get distracted. Auto emergency braking with